everybody coming to you from my cute little hotel room here in Tokyo It's been a while since I've been back I'm gonna say close to five six years very long time and since it's been that long I have accumulated massive amounts of FOMO <laughs> I keep seeing these amazing restaurants on TikTok and real and I'm like when I go back to Tokyo I'm gonna try them all so this video is specifically dedicated to one of my favorite types of noodles Udon. We're gonna go to three udon restaurants. Now they're very popular, so we're gonna go through the whole process of showing up early, lining up, getting our food, and see if they are worth the hype. Hopefully this video helps those of you who wanted to try these restaurants as well. It's almost 10 a.m. The restaurant doesn't open until 11, but we need to go line up this early. Yes. So let's pack our bags and head out to our first spot. Look at we found! We're matching! Oh my god, we are! <laughs> We're matching! Oh, and, uh, we have to bring them along. <laughs> okay, this is the line at 10.22. Oh my goodness, it grew. It like tripled. This is the line at 10.40. It's about to wrap around the block. 10.55 and this is the line! I don't know if you guys can see, but it's all the way down two blocks. It's crazy. All the way back there. So they have a lunch set where you can get the noodles with two dipping sauce. This particular location chooses the sauces for you, so it just comes with soy and sesame. And then you can choose tempura, grilled chicken, or pickles. I think I'm gonna go with the tempura. They also have this only set right here, and that's what it looks like. And then a ginza set with all of this. Wow. That looks awesome. Just let you guys know, if you wanted extra noodles, like a large noodle set, you can get it for free. So you can upgrade to have more noodles for free. For free! <laughs> is long and thick, just how I like it. I dipped some of this thick udon in the sesame sauce, and look at that. It's coating it so beautifully. Here's the slurp I've been waiting for. Wow, the sesame sauce is so light and refreshing. It's nutty. It kind of just glides off the noodles. Look at the sauce. Wow. It's like a noodle slide. <laughs> mm, that is delicious. Even though it's super wide, it's actually quite thin. It's like paper udon. Check this out. I'm gonna dip it in some of this soy sauce. Ooh, look at that. Ugh. Oh. Okay, here's the soy. It's like the ultimate slurp. Bouncy, it's jiggly, it's chewy, it's soft. You can just tell it's freshly made, which is so satisfying. Check out this crunchy tempura. I'm in my tempura era right now. Ooh. The flake on this tempura is magical. Wow. Like I said, this mushroom tempura is their favorite, so here we go. Mm. Oh my god, it is really good. Mm -hmm. It's just like extra layers, like layers and layers of mushroom. And the outer layers are so dang flaky. One of the better tempuras I've ever had. I think of the two dipping sauce, the sesame is definitely my favorite. It's just a little more different. This is like a very typical um, dipping sauce with gingery, I put in wasabi. I wouldn't necessarily say this one is amazing. The sesame is just very different and unique. Michael was saying that other restaurants, there's multiple dipping sauce and one of the options was curry. I bet these noodles with the curry sauce is amazing. Oh my god. I have generously been donated the eggplant. Look at that. Aberdeen. <laughs> mm. It's just so soft inside. I think my verdict is it's really good. However, 
but I wouldn't wait two or three hours like um, a lot of people in line are right now. But it is very unique. I've never had noodles like this before. Also, for the price, honestly, pretty amazing. Those are some of the most slurpable noodles ever. It just glides in. Finished. I feel like the normal portion was pretty perfect for me, but if you wanted to, you can get more noodles for free. <laughs> we killed it. Delicious. I love this little bowl. That is adorable. So cute. Can you buy it? <laughs> <laughs> you can buy the bowl. My goodness, this is the line after we got out. It's currently 12 p.m. And that's what it looks like. Wow. It was Thoughts. good. It was really good. <laughs> it was really, really good. Um, the noodles are super fresh. Now, if I were to wait like two, three hours for it, I think I would be a little underwhelmed. But as somebody who came in knowing like I'm gonna line up, uh, I'm gonna be first in line. Honestly, it was really good. I have never had noodles like this before, so in that sense, it was an awesome experience. I'm glad I tried it. I'm glad I cured my FOMO. And on to the next spot. Michael was telling me there's another location where they have a bigger restaurant and you get more dipping sauce variety and there's less weight. Maybe check out that location, but as always, make sure to read reviews because the reviews do tell you, you know, what the wait time is at. So weekday on a Wednesday and you guys saw the line was pretty crazy. <laughs> I think if you were at the end of that line, that would have been at least a two hour wait for sure because the restaurant side wasn't that big. Good morning y'all, it is currently 9 a.m. I'm outside of Udon Shin. So in order to get seated here or you know, get seated here right when they open, you have to come here super early. So when you go inside, there's an iPad waiting for you where you can get a number. I got number eight at 8.51 on a Thursday, okay? <laughs> uh, the restaurant opens at 11 a.m. If you scan this QR code, it'll tell you how many people is ahead of you and how much longer you need to wait, okay? I'm gonna go kill some time and see you guys when we get called. All right, y'all, checking in at 10.30 and the wait time now is 141 minutes. It's like a Disneyland ride. There's 29 parties in front of us. We are right here, number eight for three people. <laughs> Early bird gets the udon. <laughs> you know how I came at 8.51 and I got number eight? Michael told us that even though you have your number, you should still show up to line early. So we actually showed up to here at 10.30. The only ones in line. And at 10.40, somebody came out and asked what number we were. And we're like, we're number eight. And then he looked in, he looked around and he said, okay, come in. So at 10.40, we we're already seated as if we had number one. So the tip is, even if you get your number, still show up to line early because there's a chance they'll let you in earlier if the numbers ahead of you are not here. We got seated in the first round because if you don't get seated in the first round, you might have to wait, you know, another hour or so. So yay, we got super lucky today. Early bird gets the udon, indeed. <laughs> That thing is, oh, giant and crispy. Look at the shape of this. It's a very interesting shape. I'm gonna bite into this giant piece. Oh, that tempura crisp is incredible. Wow, wow. Let's take a sliver of this cheesy, parmy, buttery noodles. Here we go. Mm. Oh my goodness. That is the creamiest, yolkiest, cheesiest, most slurpiest, that's not even a word, udon ever. <laughs> what a flavor blast. There's so much creaminess from the yolk inside. The savory cheese is so decadent and all of it is just coating that soft, chewy udon perfectly. Yeah, I love the pieces of Parmesan and egg stuck to the noodles like this. 
when you slurp into it and get these savory little bits. Oh, it's so satisfying. Wow. Which sounds so good to me. And look at this giant slab of bacon. Have you ever seen bacon this big? Very, very savory. Blends in perfectly with this cheesy udon. I'm trying the spicy beef udon. Oh, it looks so good. It does, you do get the flavor of the raw Oh, that's spicy. That is mala level spicy. My mouth is numb instantly. Like Sichuan peppers, but it's really good. Guys, these are the chubbiest, bounciest, freshest udon ever. Yes, more of that spicy sauce. This is truly one of the best udon I've ever had. This is a yuzu sauce. <laughs> Why am I blowing on it? That is very, very refreshing. Great for summer. They even have these little yuzu pieces in there. Citrusy, lemony, fate flavor in the broth. Oh, look at these giant slices of beef. Oh, even the beef is delicious. Every bowl has been really delicious. I think it just depends on you know your preference, what you want. Heavy, light, spicy, they got it all. Everything is good. I think my favorite is that spicy beef udon. Between these two, because uh, this one you can actually finish the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this one, you definitely have to share it with someone because it's heavy. It's intense, it's heavy, yeah. I just want to show you guys that at currently it's 39 people and 186 minutes. All right, y'all just finished Shin Udon. Now here is my verdict. So I think the carbonara that I got was way too heavy because now I feel it's sitting in my stomach. But do I recommend ordering that? Yes, because it's just so different. It's like, I don't know where I would ever get something like that again. Um, but in terms of, is it like a lunch item I would go back for? Probably not. I would definitely go back for the spicy udon though because it was refreshing, it has so much flavor, and the udon was so soft. You can really taste the udon quality at this restaurant. After trying three different flavors though, I definitely see the hype and I do think it is worth the wait now, are there better udon places or udon that is just similar quality? Maybe, like if you guys know any recommendations of udon just as good, let me know in the comments below because I would love to try that next time. The thing with these restaurants, if you go in with the intentions of, okay, yes, I'm gonna have to wait, I'm gonna dedicate this block of time, you know, before I get my food, then I think the experience is much, much better. But yeah, I hope some of the tips and steps in this video helps you guys plan your trip to Udon Shin. On my next trip to Tokyo, I definitely probably wouldn't go through the whole process of waiting for both of these restaurants, but very good first time, very delicious. <sighs> oh, I feel great. On to the third udon restaurant. Okay, everyone, we are at Shodai to complete our udon tour. I'm really excited about this one because aesthetically, it looks amazing. So it's basically a curry udon with a potato cream on top. That combo just sounds delectable. There's no weight, um, there are multiple seats. Also, it's not really that viral right now. I think it was at a certain point. I'm just excited to be here and try it for myself. <laughs> Y'all, I've been taking 15 to 20K steps a day here. For this trip, I've been filming on a new camera and I do notice that it really whitens the color. I feel very ghostly. <laughs> By the way, I just want to let you guys know, this place is also really well known for their soba noodles. So actually, if you don't want to order udon, their soba noodles are really good. My udon just came and oh my goodness, it looks beautiful. Literally looks like they got a whipped cream can and they went like this. They spiraled it on top of the udon. I'm gonna go ahead and dig in before it melts. Here we go, I'm going in, I'm gonna mix this up. Oh my gosh, look at the curry udon. Look at it just like melting. Wow, the udon looks thick and chewy. And oddly enough, the curry doesn't actually look very thick. Okay, I'm gonna taste the cream on top first. Whoa. Light, fluffy, very potato-y. Literally dissolved in my mouth and leaves like a very grainy, texture on my tongue. It's very interesting. 
Oh, it almost has this like a seafood undertone as well. I'm gonna serve it to some of this curry udon. Here we go. Mm. Wow. I actually got the spicy version. I think the curry sauce, it's quite subtle. It's not very strong. And now that the fluff is melting into it, it's giving it the thickness that it didn't really have before. Ooh. Oh, there's the curry. But now it just looks like a cappuccino, an udon cappuccino. <laughs> Ooh. So I think the udon has a fresh chew, but I wouldn't say it's the softest, most delicious udon I've ever had, especially since we've been to the other two locations. There's actually little beef chunks and shreds in there. Oh wow, now it's all melted into there. Look at that beautiful color. Wait, that is so pretty. Gorgina. Wow, curry sauce slash broth is actually drinkable because you know how sometimes it's just way too savory? But this is really good. It tastes way better when you mix it all in. I think it's supposed to be fully mixed in before you enjoy it. Delicious. Now you get the true flavor of the udon. Mm. I think sometimes when you see a dish that looks you know, super extravagant. You think, oh, this is gimmicky, but honestly, this is really delicious. If you are a curry udon lover, I think it's worth coming here to give this a try. And the potato foam just adds this extra layer of creamy texture to the broth. It's like a curry potato soup at this point. <gasps> I got it on my shirt. It wouldn't be a noodle video if I didn't get something on my shirt. There we go, udon stains as a souvenir to go. Okay, I just finished. That was really good. So I really came in thinking this dish wasn't going to be as good because it just looked so extravagant and insta-worthy. And sometimes those dishes are not as good, but this really knocked it out of the park. Once you mix in that foam with the curry, it was like the savory yet light beefy potato broth and it was delicious. And honestly, the udon was not bad. It definitely had that al dente, you know, chew to it. It was not as soft as the udon in the other two locations, but I do feel like the Udon needed some thickness with that light, frothy broth. All right, y'all, so there we go. That was three Udon restaurants. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below which of the three would you love to try. Honestly, I'm so glad I got to try them all for myself. Now, which one was my favorite? I have to say, Shin Udon definitely live up to the hype, but would I go every single time and wait that long? Probably not. <laughs> all right, please give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time it's time for me to noodle along and digest because by now i am one big udon in this lighting i honestly look like one so also i feel like the width is perfect it just perfectly fits in your mouth you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> look at this